Potatoes. Long Island was always potatoes. And I think that's been our biggest problem here on Long Island. We did something one way for so long. I know we got to work on it really, really hard. Otherwise, there's, there's, there's no future for the farm or the soil. We've been working directly with American Farmland Trust this year on a soil health champions project. We've worked with five vegetable farmers to try and get these vegetable farmers to, to adopt something new that will help improve soil health on their, their farm. American Farmland Trust's main mission is to protect farmland. We also work with improving soil, minimizing the impact to water quality. We're starting to promote more soil health practices and working with some of our partner organizations like Cornell University and Peconic Land Trust. Some examples of more soil health practices are getting farmers to use cover crops, establishing crop rotations instead of just year after year, planting the same crop on the same piece of land. Can we rotate the crops that are on that land? We're trying to work directly with the farmers through on-farm demonstrations and research trials to show them that it can be beneficial to adopt more reduced tillage or no-till or using cover crops. We just kept going on and on over the years, conventional ways. The ground's tired today. Between the fertilizers and chemicals we've been using, it's just tired. We have what's known as a sole source aquifer under Long Island. With our sandy soils here, they're very prone to leaching and runoff of pollutants and pesticides and nutrients, leading to harmful algal blooms and contamination with our drinking water sources. We're trying to do different things. My son planted buckwheat and we figured it would help the soil. Try to build up some new organic matter and humus. Cover crops help with building soil organic matter. It helps with the biological activity in the soil, reduce erosion and keeping the nutrients in the ground. We cover crop very aggressively. We try to have land and cover crop at all times. And then we do a big rotation between our livestock and our vegetables. We're letting soil microbes live and not breaking apart fungal hyphae, not disturbing earthworm holes and other things that are actually good for farming and productivity. Cover crops down the road are gonna save us on inputs. For us, it's hard to realize. You know, up front you're like, oh, this X amount for this might cost us a little more, but down the road, less fertilizers, suppressed weeds, that's gonna save us money. That's really huge. It's something we didn't realize for a long, long time, and Debbie's helped us to see the light, I guess you would call it. It works for me and it's what I believe in. I think it's got a lot of potential. It cuts down on my inputs and it cuts down on a lot of other issues. So I think in the long term, it's gonna pay off a lot. It's, it's always changing. It's, it's always you gotta uh, figure it out. <laughs>